I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question on ratio, rates, and proportions. The question here is, how many different fraction equations can you write based on the proportion x is to 4 equals to 21 is to 12? Uh, fraction equations based on the proportion means really fraction is something on the top that is the numerator divided by denominator, correct? equals to numerator divided by denominator. This is an equation with equal to sign in between, right? So let's read the question once again. It says, how many different fraction equations can be written based on this kind of a proportion? So let me write down one for you. X is to four, could be written as X over four equals to 21 is to 12, 21 over 12, correct? So that is one of the fraction equations. Now the question is, how many different fraction equations can be written based on this? So that's an exercise for you. So I hope you understand the question very clearly. Now you can pause the video and answer the question. Okay, here is my suggestion. What we will do is, we can actually place x in different positions and then try to figure it out how many possible fraction equations could be there. So as you can see, if I have a fraction equation, how many places can I put x? I can put x as here, there, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are four possible positions For x, is it okay? Now that is to say, I could write, let me rewrite this, 4 possible, right? So let me rewrite, equals to, so I'll write, so 1 is already there, but I'll rewrite 4 equations for you, right? Okay, so, so let's do this. Yeah, okay. So I could place x either, either here as I have done, let me redo. So this was an example. So, so let's forget about this. So let's find all possible places. So we could put x here. We could put x at the bottom, right? In this case, we could place x on the top, on the right hand side, or we could place x at the bottom of this. Do you see that? So there are four possible positions for x. That is true. Now, if I place x here in one of these positions, then the question is, where can I put this number 4? Hmm, where can I put this number 4? So this number 4 can be placed here when x is in this position, or as I have placed here, or I could place this number 4 right across also. Do you see that? I could write this fraction as, if I interchange these two positions, I could write 4 here, and I could write 21 here, and 12 there. Do you see that? So, the same proportion could be written in this way. So basically, what we see here is that this number 4 has two different positions. It could be placed here or there. Do you see that? It could be denominator on the left side or numerator on the right side. So 4 has two possible situations. So this number 4, so, so, four possible positions for x and two possible positions for the number four. Do you see that? For the number four, right? Let me write like this. Is that okay? So two possible. So for every position of x, that means we have two other positions of four, that makes total of eight cases. Is that okay? So there are eight ways in which this can be done. Now if I fix this and that, then the other two numbers are already fixed, right? We cannot interchange them. If we interchange them, then it becomes a wrong equation. You get an idea, right? So, so we have to put those numbers at a fixed place. So number of choices or ways in which we can do is eight, right? So our answer is eight, right? So that is our answer. So what you can do as an exercise is write all possible fractions in which you can represent this proportion and see 
if eight works or can you get more? I'm Anil Kumar. That's very interesting. I hope you are enjoying this series. Now we'll move on and do some word problems on ratio, rate and proportions. Thank you and all the best.